like me, you grow a lot of apples. You do get some windfalls and apples on the floor. And you also get, obviously, lots of apples on the tree because there's nothing in the world better than making your own apple juice. It doesn't matter where you've bought your apple juice, I'll guarantee that this apple will turn into the most wonderful drink you ever have tasted. And for me, it's the most wonderful time of the year when we get apple crops and we start to do things with them. This fruit press and crusher is really strong. It's heavy duty stuff. It's gonna outlast you and me by a long, long way. And it's the kind of machine that people will talk about forever. Do you remember the time when we used to collect apples? Um, it's painted in food grade paint and it has food grade oak staves. It's absolutely perfect for the job because you need a bit of oomph when you're doing this. First of all, when you're making apple juice, and that's what we're going to do now, you have to crush these apples down. People think that the press squeezes the apple until the juice comes out. That's not true. We have to crush them and make them into a pulp. And they're going to go into this bag, which has got holes in it, allows the, the juice to come out and keeps the pulp behind. So let's start crushing. We've cut these apples into quarters so that we can get them through the teeth at the bottom of the crusher. As you've pressed your apples and you've got your juice, you're left with a pulp, a cake of pulp, and you can do a number of things with that. You can compost it. You can actually lay it around the bottom of your trees and the worms will, will drag all of the apple and digest it and make a good fertilizer for your trees for next year. You can freeze it. We make granola out of ours, uh, make a breakfast bar. It's really tasty. I think you can now hear the crusher is empty and we're ready to press our juice. Have to remove this out of the way. And we have a huge amount of apple pulp in our net. So I'm gonna fold the top over. Once we've got our apple pulp ready to be pressed, we use this cross member. And it's a huge heavy weight really. And we're gonna exert quite a pressure with this. That's why it's so strong and well made. And this goes carefully over the uprights. A washer for each of them and then a wing nut for each of them too. Okay, you really need to tighten this down because we're going to force some quite serious pressure. As we tighten this, we're going to get some gorgeous juice out of the bottom. Now, this is the most wonderful liquid known to man. I haven't got a glass, but I just cannot help myself. Mm. Now these fruit presses come in 12 litre size, 20 litre size, and if you club together with your family, you can even buy the 36 litre size. If you're worried about having to drink all this apple juice in one day, there's a number of things you can do with it. First of all, you can freeze it you can make wine with it, you can make cider with it, and if you want to make it last a long time, you can pasteurise it. <music> 